Hey fam, <laughs> my, that sounded ridiculous. Take two. Hi family, my name's Betty. I'm a grateful person in recovery. I'm a divine spiritual being living a temporary human experience. I'm making a video about shortcomings, defects of character. Do you have any, anything that you don't like about yourself? Sometimes I feel like I could list way more things that I don't like about myself than things that I do like about myself. But recently I've been confronted with some of my own defects of character. So some of my maybe less lovable parts of myself, but I know through some of my spiritual integration and some of my healing work that I have to love all the parts of me. So there's this one part of me that I really can't stand. And it's the part of me that was really my main personality profile when I was in active addiction, before coming into spiritual awareness, uh, there's this version of me who was a liar, a manipulator, and a thief. And I really have a hard time finding any sort of compassion for that version of myself. She caused a lot of harm to a lot of people, including myself. And so, you know, sometimes I'm confronted with people in my life who are liars and are manipulators. I work in the recovery field, so I spend most of my day confronted with people in active addiction. And if anybody listening has ever dealt with somebody that has had an issue with addiction or was an addict themselves, they know that addicts are master manipulators. And I really have a hard time accepting this part of myself. So I have a couple of tips on how to let go and let God when it comes to these things. So for, for one, when I think about the person that I hate the most in the world, like hate is a very strong word, whatever language you want to use, I think about a liar, a manipulator. Like that's the person that I cannot stand. I hate dishonesty. I have become the most honest, authentic version of myself, and she's the best. She rules. I love her. I love hanging out with me like this. Sometimes I'm almost too honest. Sometimes I say too much. Sometimes I don't know how to hold back. Um, but I'd rather be this version of myself than any other version of myself. And that I'm really, really grateful for. So for me, I make a list. I just, I take a pen and a piece of paper. This is our magic wand. I write down all of the things that I don't like about myself. I say, I release this from my experience. And then I figure out what's the spiritual principle that I can replace it with. So if, and you know, I'm not saying that I'm perfect. I lie about things. Like I do little white lies, you know, maybe like stuff at work. I'm not going to get into too much detail just in case somebody happens to find this video, but you know, like taking paper clips home or, I mean, I haven't done that. I don't even need paper clips, but wh whatever, like insert example here. So if I write down, like, I don't like liars, then I know that I can exercise the spiritual principle of honesty. And, and that can combat the fact that, you know, like I have a problem with liars. I can offer them love and forgiveness and compassion the same way that that version of me needed all of those things. And I can give that version of me in the past all those things as well. Even as I say it, I don't believe the words that I'm saying, but I'm going to keep saying it and I'm going to keep practicing it until I actually believe it. What else? Um, manipulators. You know, like I could exercise the spiritual principle of tolerance and again, honesty and acceptance. And I can replace all of those spiritual principles with this defect of character of manipulation. And yeah, you know, so that's something that's been coming up for me lately. I thought I'd make a little vid about it. And, um, you know, everything's always working in divine right order, divine right timing, uh, there's plenty of things that I don't like about myself. There's plenty of things that I do like about myself. And so not only do I talk about my defects, I also bring in my assets. So for every defect, there's an asset to replace it. And I have a lot of things that are great about me today. I'm honest, I'm open-minded, I'm willing, I'm living my best life. Um, I'm an abundant individual. I'm a master manifester. Like all of these things are pretty cool. And if I can do them, you definitely can. I'm no more special than anybody. We're all infinitely special. We all have access to awakening, to abundance, to the magic of the universe. It's totally incredible. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there. I don't know if anything I said made any sense, but if you want to reach out to me, you can reach me in these little links right below us. Be wavy.